Sorry, I forgot to push the button. Hey guys, sorry for cycling after me. We've been doing a lot of videos this week. And then I realized that I was doing my last one. Um, here's what I was working on, right? So I was actually using the Toolkit RC. I've been using this lately to help me give power up my receivers so I can do receiver videos, right? Uh, I, my bench looks really empty right now. It's not so dirty though. Um, in either case though, I realized that my Toolkit RC actually needs a firmware upgrade. I said, you know what? We'll go ahead and do that real quick for you guys, right? Show you guys how to do it. So here's what we're gonna do. This is the M8, okay? You can see right here, it says M8. So we're gonna do the M8. And the reason my, this is cockeyed old angled is because you have to use the cable they gave you, and I don't have a longer cable than this one, so I'm having to move my laptop closer. So here's what we're gonna do. You take, um, I'm gonna do a split screen here, or I'll do a picture in picture, however it is there. Let's just do it like that. So you gotta go to, you're gonna go to the Toolkit RC website, okay? And here's how that's gonna work. When you go there, you're gonna go to multifunction, and so just go to toolkitrc.com. When that pulls up, and it should look like this actually. Uh, okay, it's the main page, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to multifunction and then you're gonna find your product. In this case, it's the M8. I'm gonna click that. And then I'm gonna scroll all the way down. No, sorry, not scroll all the way down. I'm gonna hit downloads, sorry. It's gonna scroll all the way down. And what I'm looking for is the firmware. I have this one loaded right here, right? But what I want is I want this one right here, all right? So I'm gonna click the zip file to download it. Now, I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do it twice, but I will show you that it's right here. So once you click that, it actually puts the zip file right here, which is what I have loaded, okay? Once you extract it, you end up with these contents right here, okay? Now, I want you to keep track, so I'm gonna actually put a bigger picture in picture, or side by side. Now, I know the text may be hard to read on, on that side, but it's just because I want you to be able to look right here. <coughs> All you're gonna do is once you extract your files, okay, so let me show you what it ends up like. Here's your zip file right here, and when you right click and left click on extract all, it's gonna extract this folder. Double click that and click the automatic upgrade. Ready, so just double click it. Now watch my screen. It's blinking, I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of blinking in and out, in and out. Okay, and then when it's done it says, press any key to continue, and I've done that, and now I'm gonna to go to my computer, and I'll just do this now in a standard picture in picture like I normally do, just like that. And I'm going to go to my safe eject here, and I believe it's going to show up. There it is. I'm going to eject that. Click it to eject. Uh, oh, there we go. Eject it. Ah, it's currently in use. Okay, well, let me close everything down. Okay, I'll go back to my uh, OpenTX that I was working on. Eject. Perfect. Now I can disconnect this, and I'm going to plug in my power supply now. Turn it on. And you know what, <laughs> I was hoping, this really sucks. I was hoping that my issue would disappear, uh, my issue would be gone, and that would be the issue of the screen not turning on. Like it's it's lit up, but there's nothing on the screen. And, and apparently it's doing something, but it's not working. So let's try this again. Usually I have to unplug it and plug, oh, look at that, wonderful. So uh, clearly the update didn't fix that, but then again, all I have to do is unplug it and plug it back in. I don't really know what the issue is with that, but, um, Either case, though, if you do want to do the upgrade, sorry, I'm just plugging this back in. If you did want to do the upgrade and upgrade your Toolkit RC, there you go. Now, I will tell you that I do want to go back, though. Uh, so let's see. Let's see what um, they're saying, because what was weird about the whole thing was that they did not, uh, they had the, like a, the manual. Let's do this, and then let's go to their website. Come on, right here. And then we're going to go back to multifunction and M8. And what's weird about that is that when you click downloads, right? So they have a manual, 1.2. So I'm not sure, let's just open this manual. I'm curious to see what new things they've got in here. And maybe we could just check that out together, okay? So it says, uh, okay, yeah, that's our charger. Um, uh, safety, don't care. Okay, yeah, yep, yep. Display, exit, front, balance. Okay, output, top wheel. Okay, so everything's pretty much the same. Quick start. Uh, I don't really think there's anything in here. Short sure, press it if he wants to determine the key function. So let's just try this. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna long press it, see if anything happens. I don't know what the long pressing does. But let's find out. Okay, so let's see. So after entering the related function interface, da, 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 after the modification complete, press the nominal. Okay, fine. So I don't know. Uh, oh I see. Okay, so let's just say we want to go to charger. We'd hit it and we'd say, okay, um, are we gonna be charging a 4S? We can do charge. Uh, we can do storage, we can do discharge, okay? And you can change all your uh, options here, right? So that's fine. That's nothing different than before, I don't think. Maybe they gave you like, maybe they gave you like um, different defaults. I don't know. Let's go to the next one, measure. So we still have, I 
battery. Yeah, nope, you have SPS and ESC. No, again, I'm not worried about that. Output. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm seeing different, uh, but let me just see. Battery type setting, maybe. Um, not really seeing anything else here. It is pretty cool, though, for a charger. Anyways, so what was supposed to be was this is basically going to be a video on how to uh, do the firmware. Wow, why is it so dark? Ah, there we go. It's supposed to be a video on how to do firmware update. I am going to probably look into more of this. Uh, some of the features, and then I'll make you guys a video on um, the other features that it has. Uh, I do like Toolkit RC. I'm a big fan of their products because they make things a lot easier for us to do. Uh, they're charging, <coughs> excuse me, they're charging, they're discharging, being able to do server measure, servo measurements, uh, being able to see if your SBUS is working, be a PWM, PBM, and the whole thing all in one little piece. Uh, I will tell you that, um, and let me let me just put that back up here uh, because I, I really don't give them enough credit. I don't really do enough videos on their stuff, but I've got a whole bunch in now, so I'm going to put a whole video series together on this. I will tell you that of, of the many tools that I use here, their product is probably one of the most used and most uh, valuable that I use because it accomplishes so much in such a small package, all right? Um, so anyways, that's about it, guys. All right, so uh, I'll let you go now in six minutes and 30 seconds. That's how you do your firmware update, and that same instruction applies to all of them, but remember, you are going to use your USB cable, so don't throw this out, all right? If you have any questions, guys, please find us on the uh, Facebook uh, groups page if you want. And as always, please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Appreciate y'all very much. God bless. Be safe and spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left. So please make the most of it. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.